Oh, hi. I'm going to show you guys how to make landscape stairs like the ones behind me. Just heads up, this is not for the faint of heart. This is going to be a long video, and this took about a month of weekends for me to get this done. And my family. And lots of digging. And lots of hauling dirt. So, just be prepared. We have this staircase that's rotting out, and I want to replace it. But I need to know how many steps I need to plan for because this is very rough and not really what we're trying to do. So what you do is at the very top of your, your slope, you want to drive a, a post into the ground and tie a string to it. And you're going to take that string and attach it to something tall so you can have this you can have this level and what you use is one of these guys it's a string level and you just put this on here and tighten this up good and tight and then just keep raising it up as high as you can here until this becomes level and then you're gonna record the length of the string to over there which in this case was about 36 feet and then the height from the top there to the to the bottom is your rise and that was about eight foot six inches so once you have that all figured out you're gonna this is the length of that string and the height off of that ladder so that's eight foot six inches and 36 foot. And so obviously you take that times 12 inches, it gives you 432 inches. And this one gets you 102 inches. Now, in order to find how many steps you're gonna need, you're gonna have one, two, three, it's all the way up. You're going to take the height or the rise which is 102 and you're going to take that divided by I'd say about six inches so that's each each rise of the step is six inches and that is going to give you 17 so that's how many steps you're going to need. Then you need to know what the tread is. And the tread, you take the 432 inches, and you're going to divide that by the amount of steps. And that's going to give you a 25 inch tread. Now for landscaping stairs like this, where you're going to fill up the, the void with uh, compacted gravel, that's a tread of that long is fine but in a house you're not normally going to have a tread that that um, long I'm going to take out all of these stairs and the rocks next to it just one at a time just slowly pulling these out piling them over here for now I cut some rabbits into this 4x6 treated. It's uh, not a little bunny rabbit, it's more of a joint, kind of like a mortise and tenon. It's, it just makes it so 2x6 can fit up against it and lock in a little bit better. So I don't have to screw from the front. I'm going to be screwing from the side. Uh, because I cut this, I'm going to be treating it with this preservative because when you cut treated lumber like this it makes um, the the raw lumber untreated so you have to treat it with something so this is just going to make it so it won't rot as quickly end grain is some of the most delicate stuff you got to do right here You're gonna do that on every cut. And it's gonna protect your wood so you don't have to keep doing this over and over again.
All right, so I have those treated. Now I have them all screwed in. You can see the joint now. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to cut a notch into the step. So a uh, two by six can attach to the side of it. You're gonna cut down the end of the end grain here and then you're gonna cut across the grain. You're gonna keep an eye on it as you're cutting. give you a notch like that so we have this area prepped and uh, we have about a little like an eight foot six inch rise on this slope I bought some of these bases here these concrete piers and they have a four four inch or I would say three and a half inch wide bracket and this is going to fit right into that and then we're going to level these out these are going to be buried and i'm only going to put these piers at the very bottom of the stairs so it doesn't keep creeping from the weight of the stairs above it it'll it'll be embedded in the ground here and it won't move getting this all level down here is going to be all you really need to do to have a good start for this so we put this in a position and then you'll really only have to dig out where the cross piece is going to be and where these these uh treads on the, the stairs are going to be so you're going to dig that out underneath the boards you're probably going to put a little bit of gravel underneath it for drainage and then you're going to check this with levels and wherever you want this to be right about there and then you know you're level and you're gonna just dig out until you're level so you're gonna check this one out then you're gonna this one's almost level right here and then you're gonna check it across this is not gonna be level I think this side's gonna have to come up a little bit it's gonna have to come up that much so we're gonna just add more dirt in here or we're gonna lower this one I think we'll probably lower this one. So once you get this all cleared out, you want to put this piece in. And we check level. We're going to be putting gravel under this. So having it a little off center, leaning that way is good. This is level. I need to put gravel in here. This gravel will keep the wood from wicking water up because it'll drain off easier you don't need to have it super deep you just need to spread it out and then put the the wood down on top of that this is the first primary step so we need to do this one correctly so it sets the stage for the rest of them Shove it down, move it around. You can put some gravel here and there to, to raise it up a little bit more and then you're gonna check the level again. And that's level and that's level. We then backfill this with dirt that we've dug out. You're gonna put it inside of the structure 
and that holds it in place. The next step we put on top of it to give us an idea of where we need to cut out in the next area. Then you repeat that all the way up that hill. And now I have three steps and 13 more, set, wait, 13 or 14 more, I think. Made some more progress on the landscape staircase we're working on. We still have about another 11 feet till we get to the, to the deck. It's been really hard the last few steps to uh, dig out all of this. Keep this in mind when you go to build one of these. You need to have these steps level. And to get them level, you need to dig it out sometimes. So you can see where ours goes kind of vertical. We plan to have a railing that goes down here but I just wanted to show how cool it looks at night I think this will be really nice to walk down when it's all done we still have a little bit more to go about 11 more feet and a rise of about five feet I would advise to keep it open like this and then fill it in with more gravel for drainage and keep water away from this wood so it doesn't make it rot out quicker. Okay, got the steps done. There's been a lot of dirt. We knew we were gonna have to dig out dirt, but I didn't realize how much we were gonna have to dig out. I mean, it gets pretty deep. So I'm adding some deck stairs for the last bit and having it join with our deck up here. And there's Lucas. <laughs> um, so, cut out stringers today and I'm gonna tie them into the deck up there and uh, put some more of those concrete piers on the bottom that have the, the big bracket and then attach that to um, four by fours and should provide a pretty good structure. Gonna have to probably dig out some of this though. All right, we're uh, finishing up the, the landscape There's steps here, meeting up our deck with our deck stairs. It's a very steep incline, so we ended up having to just add some deck stairs or it would have been like we were having to go into a mining expedition. We're gonna use quarter minus and compact it with a tamper and then we're gonna put on top of that pea gravel for extra luxurious. So here are the stairs and uh, we still have some pea gravel to put down as kind of the the last facing on the top of the, the, the stairs here. This is just quarter minus but I went all the way up and then ended up with deck stairs because we just got tired of digging. Be happy with how this turned out. And uh, the, the gentle kind of curve to the, to the stairs. We're gonna be taking all this extra dirt and, and just covering this blackberries with uh, cardboard and then putting all this extra dirt over here. We'll eventually terrace this area, but we just don't have enough energy to do it all this summer. Thanks for watching this. If this video is helpful to you, it really would be great if you could drop a comment or hit the like button or even subscribe to my channel because I have more stuff like this. I appreciate everyone watching. Have a great summer.